Merry Christmas, everybody. It's your girl, Nettie, here. And today, I'm going to be making a very fun Christmas treat for you all. But before I get started, I just want to introduce the one, the only, the legendary Santa Claus Tim. <laughs> Hello there, Tim. Hi. I feel ridiculous. You're supposed to come in saying ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Yay. Merry Christmas to you all. Ho, ho, hum. <laughs> Do you know what we're going to be making today? No idea. These look like uh, Christmas cards. Yes. Actually, that's a very good guess because today we are going to make our very own Christmas cards starting from scratch, literally from scratch. Okay. So what I have right here is... Do I eat this or...? I would prefer you not to oh, okay. because these are actually mulberry barks. So it's a part of the tree that will be used to make our Christmas card So paper. you can eat the berries or you can use the bark to make paper. That is exactly right. Oh, okay. So first of all, we're gonna take our A4 frame and we're gonna put it inside, uh, In like the, so. Yeah? Yes, you might wanna wet it a little bit and then have it float on top, right? right okay. And then I prepared this little silver bucket for you now. Oh, you should touch it first. It, t it touches like... It Ugh. What does oh, okay. it feel like? Feels like cotton wool in water. It's nice, right? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> All right, you want to take like a... One a, of these. You like do realize we're going to have to clean this up later. Yes, we will probably have to. Okay, so how's that? Yeah, that looks good, but we'll probably need about two or three cups two of Two or three these. of these? Yes. A bit like Martha Stewart. Yes. You are the Martha Stewart of You're Santa. the Martha Stewart. Oh. <laughs> I'm the special guest in the silly outfit. Here we go. And I put it in the frame? Yes, correct. Okay. You can do this at home as well. Yes, you can. If you buy the kits, I believe. Where uh, do you get mulberry bark from? Don't say from a mulberry tree. No. These are actually from Chiang Rai. They're made by this very small village. And well, you didn't go to Chiang Rai to get this. So where did you get it? I actually sell these on my shop. It's oh. called Thai Crafts Cafe and Workshop. Thai Crafts Cafe. Yes. So, okay, put the second one in. Yes. Right. And then the last one. We're going to need three, I think. Yes. And then we spread it out, I take it. Yes, that is okay. correct. Oh, God. By the way, Mr. Santa, you're rocking the sexy Santa outfit. Sexy Santa, you think? Yes, it's a, it's a bit open-chested, right? No one's going to take me seriously <laughs> after this, even if they took me seriously before. Okay, so now what do we do? Okay, now you want to use your pans and just make it like a claw-like thing. And you just want to spread it all over the frame as evenly as possible. Okay. So hopefully you have enough of that. It seemed to be a little bit on the thin side. Okay. Is, so it, is it okay to have a few blank areas or...? It would be better if there are no blank spaces at all. Okay. Yes, because we want to make sure that once these are dry, you can peel it off in one go. The more air pockets you have, the more holes you're going to have in your paper. So as we're kind of arranging this, Tim, and we're in the Christmas spirits, I just wanted ho, ho, to ho. ask... Yes, I just wanted to ask you, as you were growing up in Australia, for Christmas, do you have any weird Christmas traditions going on in your household? <laughs> Well, I have to say, uh, in our particular household, we had a, just in our house, we had a, a, a Christmas dinner on the day, mm -hmm. and it was the traditional roast dinner, it might have been, we never did turkey, because turkey was a bit expensive for our house, mm -hmm. so we used to have, like, chicken, mm -hmm. but with the roast vegetables, and we'd always have the plum pudding and the custard and things, but for the bigger family, it was always on Boxing Day, the day after Christmas, mm -hmm. and we always went to, uh, one particular family had a huge house uh, about an hour and a half drive mm -hmm. and all the whole family uh, probably about 50 or 60 people used to get together and I was sort of in that whole realm I was the youngest child I I fitted between a couple of other generations mm -hmm. and uh, I always used to be the youngest so I was always uh, fated with all these lovely presents in our family the big celebration was Boxing Day oh okay yeah. so you said that you got a lot of presents. What was the worst Christmas present you got? My family sort of weren't the pranking type family. Um, my mother used, to, this is really kind of embarrass me. My mother used to like making me clothes. Oh. And they were always made from the remnants of 
uh, she'd go down to the like the, the pattern shop and she'd always, oh, this is on sale or somebody had a metre and a half of cloth left over. And so I always used to have clothes made out of the remnants or the metre and a half of cloth left over. So she used to make me shirts and she'd give them to me with a great deal of love. And I'd go, oh, that looks fantastic, thanks. And when she died, mm. we remember fondly going into her cupboard and there were thousands and thousands of metres of bits of cloth about one and a half metres long that never got used. Uh, so, yeah, she loved making uh, clothes and the patterns she chose for me were not perhaps what I would have chosen, but uh, yeah, they were made with love. Oh, that's nice. Your mom seems to be a bit of a creative person. She was, she was a very practical lady. She mm. was the m more practical one in our family. Mm -hmm. uh, but she used to love making things, even if she wasn't necessarily that talented. A bit like the person who thinks they can sing and plays the guitar every day, but... Are you talking about Jay right now, or...? No, I'm not... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. No, I, I happen to live with a person who likes playing the guitar but right. can't necessarily sing, and I know they're not watching, so... Oh, that's matter. good. Ooh, let's keep that to ourselves. Shh, shh, shh. Now, we're talking about making things is now time to decorate. So as you can see here, we have a couple of options where you can also cut out your own shapes if you want to. So what do we do with this? So this keeps floating. Okay, while we, just we leave it floating. Yes. So these are also made out of mulberry paper. As you can see, these so this are a is what more, this will look like. Yes, when it's all dried out, okay. it should look something similar to this if okay. you do it right. These are the more fancy versions from the factory, so they're a little bit more glitzy and glammy. Because we're making a Christmas card, we want to make sure that we only decorate half of it because when we peel it off and we fold in half, only half of it is going to be seen. With your eyeballs, just decorate half of it. Okay, and what do I decorate it with? All these bits All and pieces? All of these, whatever you like. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> I just put that on one side <laughs> and I'm done. You could, I if that could. fancies your boat, as Jay would say. Fancies your boat. <laughs> How many comments have we got about Jay's fancies your boat? I think we got about a million hits yeah, for that. Yeah, I think we have. Do I push it in or I just sit it on top? Actually, that's a very good question. So you want to submerge it inside the paper pulp as much as possible. Oh, so it's submerge it? Yes. Okay. So when it dries, it kind of sticks. Right? So I have to submerge these into the paper? Yes, that's all you have to do. Okay. Yeah. And these will take I've gone about... for the asterisks. I think those are flowers, Tim. I've, okay. <laughs> right. The journalist in me coming out, calling them asterisks. Okay, I'm botching this, but... Uh, okay, I've got an elephant. Mm. I've got the entire animal, well, entire animal kingdom. I've got a butterfly and an elephant. <laughs> we got some dragonflies going on. A dragonfly, there we go. What's your favourite holiday? Okay, Christmas is an interesting one. I think when I was young, of course, you liked the idea of getting a present and you used to wait up and hope you could see Santa Claus coming. Mm -hmm. um, so in Melbourne, where I grew up, we had a great tradition on Christmas Eve. There was a channel that always used to do the carols by candlelight. Uh-huh people in uh, Melbourne or Australia would know what I'm talking about and that was a, a really great ceremony we always used to sit around as the family and watch that so all those things I liked about Christmas as I got older I used to find it oh all these enforced holidays and can't get work done and crowds <laughs> and people shopping and you have to buy presents but now um, sort of in the <laughs> latter part of my life living in a foreign country that doesn't celebrate Christmas natively I sort of enjoy the uh, the way that Thai people do celebrate it. Mm -hmm. They like the Christmas trees and they like the tinsel and they like the idea of presents and things. And I suppose I can celebrate it for just the joy of what it is, which is a sort of a, um, a celebration of people getting together. Now, I understand, of course, there is a, a, a religious dimension to Christmas. And for those people that that's important to, um, you know, of course, it's a time for them to reflect on um, the, the, the birth of Jesus Christ. But that's not so important for me. And uh, I understand that uh, Christmas has changed and has become commercialised. But if there is going to be some equivalent of Songkran, uh, to me it's probably Christmas, where the family gets together and uh, all the mad uncles uh, have the same arguments every year and <laughs> all that sort of stuff. Uh, so, yeah, I, I enjoy Christmas now that I'm older. Oh, that's such a nice, nice answer. Well, on that note, are you done with your... Oh, you're no, not I'll, even half done yet. Oh, don't, don't say that. Oh, no. I'll put a star in here. 
Well, you ask me questions. No. You're interrupting. Well, keep going. Uh, okay, what are they? Oh, I'll put a few more elephants. That's a good, nice multi-colored pie elephants, and these come from touch. your craft store. Yes, they do. Are you going to mention your website? Uh, I'll a put free it down plug. below. A free plug. It's called Thai Crafts Cafe and Workshop. It's on Facebook only currently. So if you guys want to order your own sets, you can do so. We'll send you the bill, Natty. Thank you. So how have I done? You've done fantastic. Okay. Actually, I prefer yours than mine. Mine looks a little bit I've sad. Got a little, I've got a herd of elephants up the top here. Right. Your <laughs> elephant seems to be bleeding a little bit. Sorry oh, about oh, that. Oh, this <laughs> elephant's bleeding. Oh, well. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you so much, Tim, for joining me in this Christmas episode. Yes? So, what? Well, don't what? we make the paper? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> what do you do next? It. I was trying to end it. Sorry. You I'm pull not... this out, then what do we do? <laughs> Wait. Okay, so we want to pull it out of this, and then we have to put it outside in the sun for about eight hours. Oh, eight hours? Yes. We have to let this completely dry out. Dry so, out. it's going to take a while, but I'll. Have Jason take them out for us. Okay, I'm going to just move this over here so people can see on the other camera. Yeah. So that's what we've done. So that's Tim's Bleeding Elephants. That's the name of your card. <laughs> Bleeding Elephants. <laughs> and mine is the cloudy Something. stuff. Okay. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, don't lose your day job, Natty. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> So uh, all, all right. I can would say is Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you so much for watching and listening to Tim's childhood Christmas stories. Rantings. <laughs> and uh, if you like these kind of episodes, do hit the like button, also subscribe, and hit the bell because you don't want to miss any episodes of The Tiger. Thanks, Natty. Thank you very much. Any last words to our audience? Merry Christmas and have a safe and prosperous New Year. Bye everyone. Eight hours later. Hi guys. So obviously this is a different day. Um, I am now dressed in a different outfit, but we are going to peel off the cards from the paper frame. So what you want to do here is that you just press down on the edges of the paper. This one is Tim's because it has the bleeding elephants. And if you do it correctly, you should be able to peel it fairly easy. So let's see how good Tim did. But this is pretty much the texture that you want the paper to look like. It's very unrefined and very natural looking, which is perfect. Also, if you want your papers to have a little bit more color, feel free to add some food coloring to it. That also does the trick. Or if you want to go completely natural, you can also use different herbs to make the paper a different color. For example, turmeric makes the paper yellow, uh, green, you can use pandan leaves, and so on and so forth. So that is what the paper looks like. Now, I think I did this a little bit incorrectly here because you see when you fold the card over, his designs are a little bit upside down. So this is probably a card for somebody who is left-handed, which is fine left-handed we include people of all um, hands and I really like these textures it gives it a little bit more character anyways guys this is my little DIY card tutorial hope you guys liked it bye